Thank you so much for watching this week's Tip of the Week. I'm here with Weston Zimmerman from Synced Up. Had a great conversation, and we're going to give you golden nuggets that can help you plan for the end of the year. If you like what you hear, make sure to like this below and add any comments you want for the future. So one thing I wanted to really touch on today, and I think it's super important for contractors to really diagnose where they're at, you know, analyze where they're at, and be able to see how to plan for end of year. A lot of companies, I mean, we've seen this, this industry come to tremendous levels as never before, which is so exciting and encouraging for me to see um, contractors really flourishing. But now you get to the end of the year, and okay, you do have profitability, you do have cash, do I go out and do I buy that $80,000 pickup? Or am I gonna look at things and analyze and say, you know what, okay, if I purchase X, Y, and Z, this is gonna speed up my production, and this is gonna help me profitable, you know, help me be profitable. So I guess from your standpoint, some of those tax benefits, some of that, yeah. what's your thoughts on that? Because I just, I try to encourage guys to spend the money wisely, yeah, because yeah. it can change your whole mentality for company hiring, but you have any thoughts on that? I do. So you don't just want to spend money for the sake of lowering your tax bill. That's like throwing away $100 bills to pick up $20 bills because you're not going to pay tax on all of it. It's just the percentage. So a healthy company will pay tax eventually. On the flip side, okay, let's say I'm coming up to the end of the year. I have profit. I'm going to pay tax on it. What can I do to reduce my tax burden without being frivolous? Well, the first thing I look at is what money am I going to spend anyway next year? Like I'm planning on spending it in January or March or even June that I could spend today. So I'm not really moving the needle. I'm just changing on, on how much I'm spending. I'm just changing when I spend it. And, right. and, and, and when you do that, you delay your tax liability for yet another year. And eventually the longer in tax in taxes, it's all about delay, delay, delay because the longer you delay, well, eventually you will have a year that's lesser than a previous year and it and the tax burden is not quite as high. But I'm not a fan of just you know, using it as a as a oh, I get to go shopping for anything I ever wanted for free. No, it's not that. You know, you still pay <laughs> you're still paying money. It, I prefer to look at it as what am I going to spend money on anyway that I could spend now? And and that could be that could be I was thinking about getting this tool or hiring that office admin or doing something to get more efficient out in the field or within the business. And I was thinking about doing it four months from now, but hey, maybe now's the time to do it. For instance, if, you know, let's say that I look at my own business and I'm like, man, I really struggled to get quotes back to customers on time. Like it took me a week or two to get a quote back to a customer. What could I do to get that down to a few days? Is it sitting down and building out some spreadsheets? Is it sitting down, is, is it buying a software and building templates to speed that process up? You know, maybe you were like, well, I don't need the software till March when I'm busy again. Well, maybe now's the time to do it and spend the time during the winter to really set it up to really serve you well in the busy season next year. Yeah, I think you answered my question. I mean, I've always, I guess that we've always looked at that. There's definitely products you can buy that you will use next year. That would be a total write-off. Equipment, obviously, can be a write-off. I mean, that's why I guess I really encourage contractors to really diagnose, where's your pain? I always tell them, you know, if you go to a show or whatever, look, look for those things that can alleviate that pain because pain is real. Everybody has it. But if we can kind of prioritize our pain and if there's some things we can invest in to alleviate pain, and obviously we, in the hardscape industry, we have what's called the pallet to pavement pain, you know, of getting a 3,000 pound pallet of product into the ground. So are there ways to alleviate that? And again, there's products out there, there's tools, there's equipment that can get products closer to you. Um, so I guess I'm a huge advocate of that, of trying to alleviate that burden that's not only on your mental side of it, but on your back. I 100% agree with what you're saying about like prioritize by levels of pain. Like, and that's not just a you decision as the owner, like get your team together and be like, hey, what do you wish we could do better? What do you wish, we? what do you see as a problem? And then get a list of those things and then see like, well, can we buy our way out of a, this problem? Or can we alleviate this by spending some money on a solution? Maybe we thought we couldn't afford that tool or that tilt rotator or that whatever but we also say here's one of our chief problems well for an x dollars amount check you can solve that or make it better you know so i like your concept of make a team exercise of identifying pain points and then see if you can write checks to solve those pain points well i guess i look at right it's like it's section 179 it yeah. obviously allows that that tax 
Now you're starting to sound like a CPA. <laughs> if you're in, but if you're in a 25, 30, or 40 percent tax bracket, yeah, right. That ten thousand dollars, you're gonna pay three or four thousand dollars in taxes. So if you spend that money, you're getting the full benefit of that money. You're not losing that three or four thousand dollars on that ten thousand dollars. So I guess if contractors can really think about, and again, I've always been adamant about thinking that way, not like you said to spend money frivolously. But to be really wise in your business decisions that if you also the next year you're speeding up production, it just, it really can be amazing of how that, that works, you know, and an ounce of um, prevention. prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? 100%. If you're, if you can get to the place as a business owner where you are looking at your business and making strategic investments to prevent issues or, or not let them get chronic, you know, as opposed to always reacting 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 oh that's a big problem you know getting into prevention mode instead of reacting with pain pills uh yeah. is is a is the goal of any business owner and as far as like yourself a co hiring a company like yourself return on investment maybe just speak into that a little bit i mean we're talking a minor <laughs> expense but maybe elaborate on that a little bit yeah it's a it does come down to a mindset thing like so many times you people look at a, a company or a product like what we sell a software for estimating and running your business and in, in production like tracking time and scheduling and all of that and they look at it as spending their fun money like it's an it's a pure expense out of their profit but i'm of the persuasion that it's like anything else it's like you spend x dollars on a tool or a piece of equipment so that you can turn around and make more money off of it and that's the same way as software works like i mean i can get, tell you a story of a customer we have in west virginia just a two-man show it's just him and his brother he struggled for years to make a nickel he got to the point where he didn't even have enough money to put fuel in his truck to get out to the job site that's how bad it got and he spent money he felt like he didn't have on synced up and he uh in six months was uh, in six figures in net profit so that's that's what can happen is like it, it's literally a tool like you spend five grand and make a hundred you know it's it's and that that's a 20x investment um but i'd say on average synced up users get a five to up to 20x investment on the cost of the software in terms of what what it optimizes in their pricing and everything else downstream in their business then thank you for watching this week's tip of the week i just want to again instill within you the benefits of purchasing now towards the end of the year eliminate that tax Again, if you're in a 30% tax bracket, you're paying $30 out of every 100 in taxes. This is a way you can purchase equipment, get your full value for that money. So it's something to think about when you start investing wisely in your company. If you know it's something you're gonna need, make that investment, it's certainly wise. Sign up for our tip of the week on our website at pavetool.com. You can also watch us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.